What's up, guys? It is week six of the NASCAR schedule, and they're coming to Austin, Texas, baby. That's right. All three series are coming to Coda this weekend. The NASCAR Cup Series, the NASCAR Xfinity Series, and the Craftsman Truck Series all at Coda this weekend. Should be interesting. Now, the NASCAR Xfinity Series should be well-rested. They had the week off, so they're back. But uh, Coda is a 3.41-mile, 20-turn track. And the tra this race has been on since 2021. Last year, Tyler Reddick, the defending champion, looks to win again and maybe get his season right now. Some stuff going on with Tyler Reddick. Could Ty Gibbs win after his bounce, uh, dominating Bristol last week and then missing out at the end? Could he come back and win? Could Chase Elliott win here this week? Uh, could Who knows? We'll see what happens this week. A.J. Allmendinger. He looks to win again at Coda after winning the Xfinity Series last year. Could Sam Meyer win? He's had a couple road course wins as well. Could SVG win? He's in the Xfinity Cup now, full-time. And could he win the Cup as well? Could he sweep the weekend at Coda? SVG? Wouldn't that be something? I know there's a lot of fans out there that would be excited about that. Now, Zane Smith is the defending champion of the Craftsman Truck Series race here at Coda. And uh, Front Row Motorsports, uh, the 38 has won all three races in that truck series. Could, La could this be Lane Riggs' time to win, the rookie? Could he? We'll see. A lot of answers going to be happening and uh, should be a great C C uh, weekend for all three series here at Coda. All right, so here is the paint scheme preview for all three series. And as usual, as we've done in the past, make sure you let me know. In the comments below, which are your favorite paint schemes for all three series? Because all three are going this weekend. So let's check them out. And uh, we'll, I'll, after this, we'll, I'll give you my favorites and we'll give my picks to win this weekend too. So here we go.
Hope you guys enjoyed that paint scheme preview for the Circuits of America weekend. Uh, what were your favorites? Uh, mine, pretty simple. The number one Jack Hawksworth Mobile One Toyota in the Craftsman Truck Series. Uh, in the Xfinity Series, I'm going to go Sam Mayer in that number one Roto Rooter Chevrolet. And I got to go uh, with my boy, Denny Hamlin, in the Interstate Batteries, number 11 Toyota. Now, I think you were thinking I was going to go all one, right? You were thinking I was going to say Ross Chastain, but no. Uh, Ross Chastain's a defending champion of this track, so maybe he could do something this weekend, but we'll see what happens. But So last week, I pr- picked Christian Eckes to win at Bristol, and he won, which was amazing. I it was a tough rowdy was coming, but he got he he finished it. But I picked Rowdy to win the weekend here. A lot of people picked Rowdy to sweep the weekend. But poor Rowdy, if it's not on the track issues, it's in the pits. He's having a rough year. Uh, hopefully, he can get back to his winning ways. Let's see how I do this week here. Uh, starting with the XPEL 225 uh, Craftsman Truck Series. Um, I'm going to go Nick Sanchez. Uh, just think uh, this kid can drive anything and anywhere. Uh, he's looking good, and we haven't seen him on a on a road course yet in the trucks. So I'm picking Nick Sanchez to win it. He's young. He can do it. Let's see what happens. Just have a gut feeling. I don't know. Someone told me to go with my gut feeling. So Focused Health 250, the NASCAR Xfinity Series. I'm going with SVG. Yes, I said it. SVG for the win. He won on the road course in Chicago against the Cup Series. He showed his dominance there. So this is his wheelhouse. This is what he does. Uh, SVG, I think, takes the victory in the Xfinity race. And now I think AJ gives him a run for his money since he is the defending champion. But this is SVG's thing. This is him. I think he wins. Now, because he could he win both races? Wow, well, that would be a shocker uh, in the racing world for SVG to sweep the weekend at Coda, but we'll see. Now, the NASCAR Cup Series Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix uh, Ross Chastain, Chase Elliott, and Tyler Reddick are all defending champions. They're on races here. But um, last week, as I just said, someone said, go with your gut. Don't skip it. Just go with your gut and what you think. And that is Tyler Reddick. I'm going to go Tyler Reddick here. I think Toyota continues their dominance. But I think Ty Gibbs gives it another close one. Uh, another close one to win. But I think it's Ty- Tyler Reddick's w- race to win here. So there are my picks. As I said last weekend, I won't be streaming uh, this weekend. I got some stuff going on, and but I still wanted to do the paint scheme and weekend preview for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I'll be back next weekend at Richmond. We'll be doing our thing as we normally do. So, uh, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit a, hit that like button for us. And if you're new and watching this video, make sure you subscribe to NASCAR and all the NASCAR content here on On the Go at CeeLo. We've been doing NASCAR since the Daytona 500 weekend and doing paint scheme previews for you guys and weekend previews and all the live streams that we've had. They've been huge and they've been great. So much fun meeting all a bunch of new folks with us. So like I said, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Y'all enjoy the races this weekend and uh, I'll be watching. I'll be listening. Even though I'm not there, I'll be watching, listening with y'all. So until then, we'll see you guys later. We'll see what... Denny can do this weekend. Could he win back to back? I don't think so. Road courses is not Denny's thing. So, all right, guys. See y'all later.